following the latest at the White House. Blake Berman, let's go to 2020 Advisory Board member uh, for Team Trump, Mark Lauder. Mark, um, this issue about the Iran thing going forward, if I can get, uh, go between that and North Korea, um, you know, oil prices are up. Uh, there are multi-year highs, as you know. Uh, gas prices are expected to follow. Now, a lot of this was pre the Iran decision, so I don't want to pin this all on that. But how is the president going to address that? Should he address that? You might be facing higher prices at the pump, but this is for our collective good that we take this position with Iran. Even if it's volatile in the markets, you go to the gas station, pay a little bit more. It will be well worth it longer term. How does he position that? I think, well, first off, we've got to realize that, that oil prices can't be the determining factor in terms of confronting Iran's destabilizing activities, their pursuit of nuclear weapons, uh, their launching of attacks against Israel uh, last night and, and multiple times so far this year. Uh, we've got to confront that for long-term security, long-term stability. And in the meantime, I would hope that, that the administration would go to some of our allies uh, in the Middle East and in, in OPEC and work with them to try to to pick up uh, production to lower or offset any kind of impact that the Iran uh, sanctions would 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 result in, but I also think the American people, to a certain extent, have a, have a have a strong understanding that this might be a short-term bump in prices, but we're talking about long-term stability. We're talking about making sure that Iran never has a nuclear weapon and the missile technology to deliver it to Israel, the United States, and our other allies. Uh, switching gears, if you'll indulge me, Mark, uh, your old boss, Vice President Pence, in an interview had said of the Mueller probe, time to wrap it up. Uh, it's not the first time anyone in this administration, including the president, has said that. Uh, do you think they're close to wrapping it up? And if not, does that worry you going into the midterms? I think the American people are seeing through it in terms of the midterms. They see that it's some of the noise that's coming out of Washington, D.C. Uh, but as the vice president said uh, on those interviews this morning, the administration has cooperated fully. They've produced over a million documents, thousands of hours of testimony from from key uh, from key people that have been of interest to the special counsel. And yet to this date, we still have no evidence of any collusion uh, between the Trump campaign and uh, and Russia. And that's because there was wasn't any. So I think many people in America, including uh, folks in the administration, would like to see this wrapped up in, in its due course, but quickly, so we can all together move forward and confront the other issues that we have uh, in front facing our country. You know, Mark, I have no idea where this investigation is going. I know that it is veered mightily from its original, uh, you know, intent. It wouldn't be the first such one to, to go that route. But increasingly, we're looking at a Michael Cohen's business deals, relationships with companies that might have paid him to get exposure, play uh, an audience uh, with the president, whatever. Um, is there a fear here that, that whatever the president says about the swamp and everything else, that this investigation could reveal from his own people swampish behavior? Well, I think the president's been very clear from the very beginning that if anyone connected to the organization or the administration is doing something that's outside of uh, the guidelines of the law or ethics, then they should be held accountable for that. He knows from a collusion standpoint that he is, and the campaign did not do that. One of the things I think we are really have to look at here, and, and we, we've seemed to have veered, is kind of flipping the justice system on its head. Normally there's a crime and investigators go find the person who perpetrated that crime. In this case, it seems like in some cases they're looking, they're going after people and looking for crimes. And, and that's not the way our justice system works. I think we have to be very careful with that. And I think that's one of the reasons why you have so many people questioning the scope, including federal judges. In, questioning the scope of this investigation and how it's being conducted. All right. Mark, always good seeing you. Mark Lauder, the former Thanks, uh, Pence Press Secretary, Trump 2020 Advisory Board member, a very instrumental player uh, for Team Trump.